I have long been intrigued, just about all my life really, by the concept of UFOs, unidentified flying objects. Now, I must say straight away, I've never ever seen anything that I could not eventually explain. But I always followed the latest news intently. Mmm, coffee. By the way, coffee is good if you have prostate cancer. Take my word for it. But only one cup a day. Anyway, it was in some respects a disappointment, but not unexpected, I guess. And it goes on the start. Oh, I'm, I'm reading it by the way right now. Download it. They call it actually unidentified aerial phenomenon. I like that better actually. They talk about the potential threats posed by UFOs. It really is a lot of gobbledygook. I think just to work. Uh, put people off and of course most of the UOP reported probably do represent physical objects given that a majority of UOP were registered across multi multiple sensors oh, well. uh, I'm reading through it I just, uh, I think they're either asking for more money. But at the moment, the available reporting, which is uh, limited to what, 2004, 2014, something like that. The available reporting is largely inconclusive. Yeah, well, we expected that, didn't we? So, I think one of the other reasons for this report, though, is to suggest that the disparagement, a lot of the reportings, reporters, <laughs> uh, experience should eventually go away. UOP probably lack a single explanation. Okay. But the main bit, and uh, some of the proponents I'm talking about this have said all along is, but UAPs threaten flight safety and possibly national security. Well, when you read some of the things that have been happening, possible to hear, well, just I got to the end of it now. But I do want to expand the collection of uh, data, I think. And they want increasing investment in research and development, of course. And that, uh, 
That is it. See? So there we go. <laughs> okay. 